Drop. I mean, boom shakalaka. What is going on, guys? Randall here from Crypto Love, and today we have an episode about nulls. Now, this is one that's been on my radar for a while. And last week at the late night live stream, I asked you guys what coins you wanted me to cover, do reviews of. So, because this is the people's channel, or so I call it, we're doing a review on nulls today. Now, before we get started, I just want to say thank you to everyone subscribing. Thank you to everyone mashing on that like button. And for God's sakes, if you want to win a free Ledger Nano S, stay tuned. Now, taking a look at nulls, okay? Enterprise blockchain solution, plug and play. You just throw, decide what you want, throw it together, and it is made. And that's pretty cool because there's a lot more jobs for blockchain developers than there are blockchain developers. In fact, in fact, it's like 14 to 1. And it's only going to get worse the more blockchain projects we have, okay? So, with projects like Nulls, they're going to make it where you can literally, like if you have a business, large enterprise, whatever you want to call it, you can literally design your own blockchain like that. Okay, super simple. Now, we'll take a look at the website, we'll take a look at some other stuff, the price, see what's going on, and then I'll tell you buy or don't buy, but I really won't because I'm not a financial advisor. But, to begin with, this thing gets so much comments, null is nothing. They're not saying anything about nulls, the business. They're saying null. Null. Yes, a big zero. I studied physics, I know what null means. Is nothing. Nulls is anything. It's kind of like the universe, you know? It's like so small and then so big, you know? Like a grain of sand in the universe. And then, well, a grain of sand to the planet, and then the planet to the universe, and then the universe to the cosmos, whatever. But, you know, it could be like that. The infinity. The big, the small. I'm just rambling right now. Sorry. Just cut out that part. But anyways, anyways, anything you want in the blockchain world. And, so guys, um, open source project, highly customizable modular blockchain infrastructure, okay, micro kernels, smart contracts, multi-chain mechanism, and cross-chain consensus, okay, we all know blockchain interoperability, all that stuff, but cross-chain consensus, so they're aiming to reduce the cost of development, which is what businesses are going to want, and pr promote blockchain technology in the commercial field, guys, I'm telling you, the cloud was popular before that, like selfies were popular and the internet and all that stuff. Well, blockchain is becoming popular. Every business is going to want to do it. And are they going to want to go hire a blockchain developer that they know absolutely nothing about what the heck the blockchain is? No, they want to go someplace where they can plug and play and just do whatever. Now, what does this remind me of? This reminds me a bit about Arc because Arc is also doing something where they're making plug and play blockchains. Um, so yeah. Taking a look at it that way. But their mission, all right, they're aiming to make it flexible and convenient, build customizable universal public blockchain infrastructure. And how are they going to do it? Well, multiple chains. It's a multi chain mechanism. So they have a main chain, they have side chains. Sounds very similar to LISC. Okay, they have sophisticated smart contracts with up to three programming languages Java plus a few more. All right, so they're going to have that. But you won't need to be able to program, you won't need to be need to know how to program everything because it's going to be kind of plug and play. And then also proof of credit, which is proof of stake with like a credit rating system. So they've got all that stuff working for them. Now, advantages, flexibility, okay? Because everything's plug and replaceable and just like drag, chop, do all that stuff, like anyone who's ever used WordPress, super simple, just like that for building a website as opposed to just coding everything in um, HTML, it makes it a lot simpler and that'll help get people using it. And also sustainable improvements, so constantly developing, constantly implementing new stuff. Now the architecture goes into the different layers that are there, all right, so they have the logic layer, which is the smart contracts, then they have the module layer, so a repository of a bunch of different modules that the developers will use, so like if they do get a blockchain developer, they can use these different repositories, figure out whatever they want on their blockchain. And then they have the chain layer, so this is where you have all the chains, and then Ooh, cross-chain consensus. Oh, yeah. Right? Now, roadmap. Still very early on in development, okay? So, we are here in March 2018 right now. Their goals were complete mainnet development. Testing phase commences. We'll go into that later. Um, improve technical development design. Establish and expand the open source development community. 
Then, in May, they'll be having some stuff completing the basic modules, starting to promote more applications within the Null's ecosystem, uh, mainnet release, so that stuff in May, so that's coming up in a couple months. And then, July, we have smart contract support for more programming languages, and yada, yada, yada. Okay, so all that. Still pretty on the roadmap, and this is just the beginning of the roadmap. So they have ice, water, and steam. Obviously, the way that water goes as it sublimates into... Water, steam, yeah. So water, they have more modules, more functions, more subchains, more applications, steam, even more. All right, but that's coming up in the future. Taking a look at the team, it is a small team at this time, but they do have some experience. So Jason Zhang, seven years experience in programming, six years in the banking sector. He also knows a whole bunch of cryptographic stuff. So he's the founder and lead developer, but also the other people have had a lot of experience. So the COO, the chief operating officer, has experience with Chongqing TV. I'm sure I pronounced that right. Um, and some other stuff. And then uh, Reaper right here was on the Neo community board. So he's a community leader. So obviously knows about building community. Then if we take a look down here, we have four core developers right now. Obviously they're hiring more as you can see right there. So if you are a developer, it's pretty rare, but if you are a developer and you want to work for Knowles, that would be a place to do it. And honestly, guys, like if I was a developer, this would probably be like one of the projects that I would take a look at because there's a lot of potential for growth. This one, but so like all the developers have a good amount of experience, blockchain experience too. And so they could probably, probably get stuff done, but they're always hiring more. And, you know, it's the small teams developing stuff. We'll take a look later about what they've been working at. But that tells you that they could potentially get stuff done. Now, just to show you that they can get stuff done, this is taking a look at the GitHub. And if you take a look here, this stuff has been pretty active. So a lot of stuff committed a few hours ago, seven, eight hours ago, also days ago. And then some stuff that's a little bit longer ago, but that's kind of the license and all that. All that jazz, you know? Now, taking a look at coin market cap. Nulls right now trading at $2.60 or almost 29,500 Satoshis for those of you who want to talk in that stuff. The market cap, pretty darn low. $60 million market cap, uh, 23 million out of 40 million total supply, all right? Right now, they're trading on Binance, BitZ, OK Exchange, and some others, but most of the volume is on Binance and BitZ. And if you take a look, they did have quite a run up there in January when they were popular, when everybody else was making videos about them, all right? But now we've had a bit of a pullback. And guys, I mean, if you think Bitcoin's gonna shoot off soon, which it probably will eventually, maybe May-ish, okay? When that happens, well, that's lining up exactly with some developments in nulls like mainnet release, all right? So when Bitcoin shoots off, that's going to happen, and then Bitcoin will slow down, and then all the altcoins will stop, start popping. Well, guess who will have some mainnet release news coming up then? Yeah, you guessed it, nulls. Go figure, right? But this would be one that I would be looking into getting into when there is an, another altcoin bubble. For sure, definitely, 100%. Now, taking a look at nulls versus the others. All right, we can take a look here. So we got nulls in the center versus Neo, Neblio, Lisk, Eos, Icon, Qtum. Those are all big names, in case you didn't notice. Those are all big names. Nulls is like 140th on coin market cap. These are all pretty darn high up, top 20, top 30, maybe with Neblio a bit lower down. But it just talks about the, the similarities, the differences. And basically, I mean, they, they all have different uh, protocols. So we have proof of stake, proof of credit, which is really proof of stake, delegated proof of stake, right? Um, they have different circulating supplies, different total supplies, different programming languages. And then it tells you, you know, Knowles has yes to all of these, whereas some of these don't have one. I think that Knowles is potentially, what I got out of this graph, when taking a look at it, is that Knowles has the potential to compete with these. It's pretty early on. So obviously, if you invest in this, it's more risk than if you were to like put your money in Neo or Lisk or something like that. But they have the potential to get there. Reminds me of Neblio back in the day when Neblio was much lower. I mean, right now, the market cap of Neblio, we can take a look, is about twice the market cap of um, Knowles. So if Knowles does very well, Knowles is at 60 million, Neblio is at 120 million. So could double, but you know, there are other things that are similar 
All right, so we have things like, uh, let's just say, for instance, I know this is a big one, but let's just say, they don't have the partnerships yet, but let's just say that they do as well as Icon. Okay, I know this is, I know this is right, this is really like reaching, but if they do as well as Icon, that's like 15 to 20 X, okay? I'm just saying it's possible. I'm not saying it's going to happen by any means. But let's take a look at their Twitter, see what they have coming on. They obviously want us. I like that. It's got Ted on there. Pretty cool. But they're happy to announce recent news nine hours ago. They're, re they're happy to announce the testnet phases are beginning. The first phase is private for internal or inner testing. The public testing phase has been sent to March 31st. Booyah. So, you know, the testnet phases are beginning. They're also getting listed on other exchanges. Uh, they recently had a uh, competition for new website design. So they're going to have a new website, which will be cool. Hopefully it doesn't say Knowles is nothing. Knowles is everything. It doesn't. So that'll be good. This one by Andreas. Andreas right there. Petra Vicious. It says Knowles is a highly customizable modular blockchain infrastructure. That's better than null is nothing, null is anything. Okay? So they did a good job there. But they also have a lot of stuff. They're going around to different conferences, presenting, talking to different people, hopefully getting more partnerships. One of the partnerships that they don't have very many partnerships right now. They have one with uh, this elephant thing. But yeah, they need more partnerships. All right? So if you want more information, Obviously, before you invest in anything, read the darn white paper. Don't take my word for it. I just make YouTube videos, all right? But you can get a lot more information on the white paper or on any of the other stuff. And then lastly, guys, for those of you who just stuck around and win the free Ledger Nano S, you can go to crypto-lab.com slash ledger. You can enter to win there. And uh, add our late night live streams, which are every Tuesday night, which just so happens to be tonight. And then lastly, guys, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure. I will catch you guys next time. Peace.